Welcome to Oxbridge Montessori's digital learning platform. In this video, we will learn about the number bonds. Today's lesson will be on number bonds. We're talking about what it is and why it is so important. A number bond is a model that represents relationship between a total and its parts. It consists of three boxes. The top box is for total and two boxes represents the parts. In this example, you can see some dots. Some are green and some are yellow. So let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. There are 5 total dots. And how many yellow dots are there? There are 2 yellow dots. And how many green dots are there? There are 1, 2, 3. Three green dots. Now a number bond is important because it helps us to visually see how we break up a number. Now do you think it matters if I put two here and three here or I put three in the first box and two in the second box? Do two and three make five? Yes. Similarly, does 3 and 2 makes 5? Yes. So then order doesn't matter very much in the number bond. Now how can we write to represent what we just did? We are putting things together. We are combining them, added them together to make a total. So far this number we could write it as 2 plus 3 is equals to 5 and 3 plus 2 is equals to 5. Now notice we have two different equations but they have same results. They both are equal to each other. They have technically the same meaning. Let's try another example. If we take a look at this, I see a bunch of dots. We have blue and red dots. We are going to put these into a number bond. So let's first address what we have. I see three things here. The dots, the red dots and the blue dots. Now notice that if I said dots to represent all of what we have. So you want to categorize what you have. Something like that. Now let's talk about how many of each we have. How many dots do you see? Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we have 7 total dots. Or you can say that the 7 total objects. Now count the red ones. 1, 2, 3, 4. So here are 4 red dots. Now how many dots are in blue color? Let's count. 1, 2, 3. So here are 3 blue dots. Now let's talk about what each of these numbers represents so that we can put it into a number bond. 7 is the total. So what about 4? Do the four red dots represent all or some of the objects of them? Because there are still more objects beside the red ones. You can see beside the red ones there are three more blue dots. So that would actually be called a part. And lastly the three blue dots that some of the objects in the picture. So that would be another part. Number born should look like this. As 7 is the total connected to the two other boxes which represents parts. So 4 and 3 will be known as its parts. You can say it as 3 and 4 make 7. And you can also say it as 3 plus 4 is equal to 7. Or 4 plus 3 is equal to 7. Because both are equivalent. So here you can see some pastries. Some are strawberry and some are chocolate. So let's count them. How many pastries you can see? There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 
फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट एंड नाइन देर आर नाइन पेस्ट्रीज हाउ मैनी स्ट्रॉबेरी पेस्ट्रीज यू कैन सी सो लेट्स काउंट वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव देर आर फाइव स्ट्रॉबेरी पेस्ट्रीज एंड हाउ मैनी चॉकलेट पेस्ट्रीज यू कैन सी सो हेर आर वन टू थ्री फोर फोर चॉकलेट पेस्ट्रीज so you can write 9 in the top box or the total box and 5 4 are making it parts 5 are strawberry pastries and 4 are chocolate pastries you can say it as 5 and 4 makes 9 or 4 and 5 makes 9 or you can also write it as 5 plus 4 is equal to 9 or 4 plus 5 is equals to 9 So here you can see some cupcakes. There are ten cupcakes. Among them, four are pink, six are brown. So you can write it as, or you can break ten cupcakes into six and four because there are six brown and four pink. You can also write it as. Four and six makes ten, or six and four makes ten. So here is a nest, and you can see some eggs in the nest. There are six eggs in the nest, and in the other nest, you can see here are no egg. So how can we break number six? We can break it as six and zero, because there are six eggs in the one nest, and in second nest. There are no eggs, so six and zero also makes six, or six can be break into six and zero. There are many different ways to break up six. Number bond actually help us to see them. That how a number breaks. Number six can be break as zero and six, one and five, two and four, three and three. Four and two. So I hope that it will help you. Thank you for watching the video. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel for more informative videos.